talk about one of my favorite finishing powders uh, for pale skin. So I think I, when I first saw this product come out in the market, I was just stunned. And then I saw the price tag and then I was flabbergasted because it was so expensive. Um, so I think I thought about, you know, purchasing it for about three months before I finally took the plunge and, you know, watched over probably 20 reviews and <laughs> different blog posts about whether it's worth it or not, what does it actually do, um, and is it a highlighter, is it a setting powder, does it have glitter in it, uh, and maybe if you've watched enough YouTube videos, you probably already know which one I'm talking about, um, or you read the title of this video, you know. Um, but it's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and my gosh isn't this package just to die for like I just when I see it actually when I see any Hourglass product I'm just like yes your package designer is amazing so um, the one I got um, is the Diffuse Light and before I tried out a bunch I read so many different reviews and I think the best um, video review that I've seen is from Dustin Hunter and he kind of goes over every single ambient lighting powder and he is really pale I think he's he's a lot more pale than I am um, and he's probably just more pinkish side I think maybe but um, he's definitely a, maybe like two three shades lighter than I am and I don't know if you can tell but I am pretty pale myself but um, my concern with the ambient lighting powders was that I wasn't sure whether it was going to be too pink or, or too yellow and I'm really kind of right in the middle but um, being Asian I do have some yellow undertones and I don't you know want to really highlight that part of it um, just because I feel like it would look kind of unnatural I don't know I just didn't know, really know what to expect with them and I've been to Sephora many times before I purchased it and I've swatched it on the back of my hand swatched it on my forearm and I just I just didn't know. I, I, I couldn't tell. I didn't really see, you know, a difference when I swatched it. And so um, it took me a while to kind of figure out which one I wanted. But after watching Dustin's reviews, um, I decided to go with the diffused light. Now, the diffused light on the website description, it says that it's, for, it's a yellow toned. But when you really see it, it's not yellow at all. It's more, I guess the, that's probably a better idea of um, the color that it is. It's more like a, just like a cream, like a nice ivory color. Um, so it's not really yellow at all. I have a little dent there though because I, my nail dug into it. It was kind of sad. But um, and when you look at it, it doesn't even look shimmery. It just kind of has a nice sheen. And even if you swatch it, like I'm swatching it now, it just looks powdery almost. It doesn't even look. I mean, I swatched really hard right there, so it looks like pure white, but it's not pure white. Um, but you know, I was really worried. And I tried the ethereal light, and that one just looks like pure white powder. And I think for that one, um, probably the Laura Mercier one is, you know, probably will work the same. I think. Um, I think Nars has one that probably just work the same. I mean, it's just white. Um, but I kind of want to give, you know, my face a diffused look. You know, kind of blur out the pores, blur out the lines a little bit um, while setting my foundation. Um, and I have really dry skin, so I tend to like more of a dewy look. Uh, I'm not a big fan of completely matte, just because I feel like it accentuates all of my dry patches. Um, and this one, the diffuse light, is meant to do that. And so, um, I just been liking it. I think I've the setting powder I was using before was the Chanel translucent powder. And when I went on Chanel's website today, um, it said limited edition, but I don't know. I bought that like a year ago, and I don't know if maybe they changed the formula, but that was the only translucent one they had. I think it's like a natural pressed powder. Um, yeah, it's in a compact form. And so I used to use that to um, set my makeup, and it works beautifully, but for some reason, um, and no liquid has kind of gotten onto the compact, but um, I guess sometimes this happens. I don't know if you know, but um, or if this happened to you, but on the outside of the compact, like right where the powder is, if this is the powder, like on the edges of it, it has this like hard coating. It's like shiny. Um, I don't know, for $45, I didn't expect that to happen. So I kind of had to scrape that part off and then um, just continue using it. And I still have it and I like keeping it in my purse. But 
um, I needed a new setting powder and I decided to go for the hourglass because you can use it as setting powder. If you use it a little bit more concentrated on your cheekbones, you can use it as a highlight. Um, I don't use it as a highlight just because um, I like a pretty strong highlight and so I use the, the Balm's Mary Luminizer for that. But um, as an all over, I think it works really well. I mean, I have it on today and I don't know, I don't think I look oily. I think it just kind of gives you a nice dewy finish. Um, if you are someone that does like really matte finish, I don't think you would like these. Um, or maybe just use it with a really light hand. The brush I use is a really fluffy brush. It's the e.l.f. complexion brushes that are like, what, $3 I think. And this one works really, really nicely. Um, it's kind of dirty now, but um, because it's so fluffy, fluffy, I can just kind of do this really fast and by, you know, using such a fluffy brush, it doesn't, the powder doesn't cling to the dry patches, especially if I have any skin that's broken and the area around it is really, really dry and flaky. Um, this really doesn't kind of, it doesn't cling to that at all. And my Chanel one did actually. So um, it's the same exact price as the Chanel. It's $45. Um, but I think it's leaps and bounds better than Chanel's. <laughs> um, I just love it so much. Um, it doesn't have any shimmer in it. It just doesn't even look shimmery at all, but it just it just makes your skin look really beautiful, and it really does do that blurred effect. I can definitely tell in this area here where you tend to have more pores um, that when I right when I put it on, it kind of just minimizes it a little bit more, and so I've been really enjoying it. And I think if you're really I think if you're pale or fair skinned. Um, or if you have somewhat of a yellow undertone, I don't think you need to be scared of the diffused light one. I think that will actually brighten your skin a bit more. Um, and if you have redness, it'll probably counteract that a little bit more to some extent. Um, I know that there was a mood light one, and that one looked gorgeous on online. But when I went into Sephora and I swatched it, and I put a little bit on my face, it was so red on me. <laughs> it looked like I had blush all over my face and I didn't even put that much on so I was like freaking out. So I think that would probably be really good as a blusher but definitely not as a finishing powder at least for someone um, like me. And I actually don't use MAC foundation so I don't know what number I am. I should probably go in and get color matched one day but um, for reference, a drugstore reference, um, in the Maybelline Fit Me foundation I am 110 ivory and that's probably perfect for me in the winter time um, for cover girls um, three in one stay fabulous I'm an 810 I don't know what that one is I think it's the lightest shade classic ivory so um, I you know that that's been working for me mood light is way too dark ethereal light is just makes me look a little chalky um, so I felt like the diffuse light is really great it just kind of brightens out your skin um, and I think especially for someone who's fair, um, when you put your foundation on, even if I put bronzer and blush, there's sometimes I can just look a little flat um, or just really sallow maybe and just your skin doesn't look very bright. It's really hard to make your skin glow, I think, when you, when you have fair skin because um, you can't really go crazy with the bronzer. And even for bronzer, it's, a hard, it's hard to match the right bronzer to you. You don't want to look too orange. You don't want to make it look like unnatural. It's like, oh, you're pale, but you have a tan, you know? So it's just, um, I felt like this is, so far has been the best for me. It just uh, brightens my skin diffuses all you know my pores my fine lines and it also sets my makeup very nicely so um, it's definitely a bargain and I know already that it's gonna last me forever so for $45 I think that's something that's worth it think buying going to a drugstore and buying a bunch of different powders that you are kind of satisfied with but not really so um, yeah that's like four powders right from four drugstore powders and I think I've gone through four drugstore powders have never even used all of it up and ended up throwing it away because they were pretty much all the same all they did was just set my foundation or they were too shimmery um, or they just you know wasn't the right color so this I feel like can go for you know a lot of different people can use it especially if you're fair I think it'll really help to brighten up your skin and make you look a little bit more glowy and dewy yeah, so that was my little review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Um, it would totally make my day and make me feel awesome. Um, and really give me the extra encouragement to make more.